All right, for the first time, I'm gonna tell you how to use a hero like properly, like everything you need to know. And uh, I'm talking about Viola. You know, I made a video called the best hero in Rider of Heroes, but I didn't really explain you how to use her. So I'm gonna show you the skills combos, uh, the weapon, best weapons to use, and uh, you know, how to kill using Viola. First of all, the skills that you have to use. Number one, face jump the two dashes uh because you want movement you want to move everywhere also you want to get the high ground and the second one the most important the realm of annihilation the win condition for viola a win condition is basically something that lets you kill the enemy or knock him or beat him you know and uh, it's unreplaceable really if you play viola and you don't use the realm of annihilation you're missing out completely trust me uh so now let's talk about uh, the positioning of Viola. Where does Viola work and where she doesn't? Okay, you need high ground because with the high ground on a rooftop, you can place the realm right on top of the enemy. Teleport, stun, and kill. Very simple. But if you, what happens if you don't have the high ground? Whatever, if you're on on a like completely flat ground, what do you do? You're gonna create the high ground yourself and how do you do this you have two dashes so what you have to do listen carefully you have to dash twice up in the sky in the air and as you are up you want to turn down look down click the realm skill and place it where the enemy is the reason why you want to do this is because when you're in a flat ground it's very hard to place the realm properly you might place it too far or too close and you might not be able to stun the enemy so that's why you want to use maybe even just one dash if you want but use two so you have more time to go up and as you're falling look down place the realm stun uh, teleport stun and kill and that's pretty much all you need to know it's very important uh to not use the realm on flag round because what happens most of the time if especially if there is a heal what's gonna happen is that you might actually place the realm very far and just go like really far away from the enemy and it, it's pointless it's it's it, it's a mistake that I may I make many times because you know I see an enemy close to me and I just want to place the realm and uh, sometimes I just misplace it I want to talk about the phase jump uh, in detail for a second this skill is amazing. If you are creative and if you are smart enough, you can do whatever you want. You can literally just uh, dash left and then dash up and then shoot the enemy and then teleport back and shoot the enemy again. Or you can just dash left, dash right, shoot the enemy, teleport back and shoot again. Or you can use the dash twice up and place the realm like I, sh like I showed you. Or, or you can dash behind the enemy and then turn around, dash once again, and shoot him, and then teleport. You, you can do whatever you want. Just make sure to combine the skill with the, uh, what is it called, like the main skill, the, the number one skill, the teleport. The, you know, the, the, the ability of Viola. She can teleport. Every time you teleport, you gain shield. Just keep this in mind. You can play around with the skill so much. Uh, or also you can use the two dashes to run away from the enemy if you have to and uh, you can use the two dashes place the realm very far away and teleport and here we go you are you're gone you disappear completely from the enemy view it's amazing viola can also be used to run away it's the best year to run away unfortunately because she is the most deadly and the the, the ones that the, the easiest one to escape with unfortunately <laughs> And one last thing to know about the face jump is that you can use it to dash through windows. Yes. And I'm not sure. Actually, I, I'm going to have to check right now. Uh, but I think you can only dash from inside to outside, not from outside to inside. But yeah, you can use the face jump to dash uh, like through windows. And it's very cool. And that's a very pro move like that I always do. Uh, back to the realm, one last thing that you need to know, very important, especially if you play solos, uh, that you need to know about it. Uh, you can use the realm of annihilation to spot the enemy if you want. If you think the enemy is inside a building, you can use the realm to, to find them. And uh, it's very, very cool. So what do you do is basically, you're far 
from a building and you're like, okay, I think there is an enemy inside that building, uh, but you want to make sure if there is someone or not. So what do you do? You basically place the realm uh, around the house, close to the house, inside if you can. And uh, basically this triggers uh, Viola's first talent that says that uh, uh, it shows, it reveals the enemies that are within 40 meters from the after image. Inside the realm, there is the after image that you teleport in. So you can basically use it, use the realm as an eyeball. You know, the, the relic eyeball. You can use it as, as the same thing. It's amazing. So for example, not only for houses, but you think there is an enemy behind a, a tree or a rock and you want to know before you teleport. You can just use it and check. And if there's not, you can just walk away. Or you want, if you want, you just can just teleport. But that's very important to know where, where, wherever, is that a word? Wherever you, your after images, you can spot the enemies within 40 meters. Also, it also works for the face jump. Okay. Like from the point you use the face jump from, uh, right here, and then you use your face jump twice, it creates an after image where you were before. And it's the same after image you can teleport inside of. And uh, so when, whenever you use the face jump, if you look back, you can see that if there, if there are enemies around you, you can find them because there is an after image right there where you started the face jump, you know? Uh, I, I don't know if you guys understand, but actually, let, let, let me repeat this again. If you, if you see the clone the after image, you can see the en 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 enemies around you. Very simple. And if you place a realm, it shows the enemy close to the realm pretty much but you know you can just watch the video and you can see yourself that how it works and uh, yeah that's it for the skills let's talk about the weapons that you should use with viola uh it's either silent pistol or ripper plus an s shotgun or a scoped rifle you know you want to have pretty much every range uh just keep them just keep this in mind the silent pistol works perfectly on mid range and also on close range while the Reaper mm, only works on close range, pretty much. I, if you try to fight someone that is using a Swelling Pistol and you're using the Reaper, you're gonna notice that you're gonna deal more damage, but the weapon itself has a, has a worse spread accuracy, you know, the spread of the bullets. And uh, so it is not very precise for mid range, so the Swelling Pistol is better. I personally usually use um, both. I use the silent pistol uh, outside and I use the reaper inside buildings. Uh, the reason why I do this is because whenever you're inside a building, you can place the realm on your on the ground. Just look at just look at your feet. You place the realm and you have the reaper that deals 400 damage uh, body shots and 900 headshots uh, close range. And if you place a realm, you already know that you're close to an enemy. Uh, so that's pretty much all you, all you want to do. If I use silent pistol outside ripper inside i just carry these two weapons i think they're the best ones uh or if you don't want to use the ripper i kind of don't use it much anymore because i realized that the silent pistol is good enough and i don't want to i don't really want to switch every time you know when i'm outside silent pistol when i'm inside ripper i just i normally just use ash shock and silent pistol just just because it's more comfortable and I don't, I don't have to worry about switching the weapons every time but you know, Sudden Pistol and Reaper both work for the stun. You know, aim for the head and uh, you knock the enemy. That's that's the win condition. Realm of Annihilation. Now, I think, I think now you guys know everything about Viola. Also, she can beat every hero. The only hero that you always want to uh, watch out from is Ragnar when he has the, sh when, when he has the shield out. You want to use your Sudden Pistol or your Reaper to destroy the shield before you use the Realm. The reason why you want to do this is because if you stun him and he turns around and he still has the shield, you're not going to be able to knock him and uh, it's dangerous. Ragnar is dangerous. Don't mess with the shield. Always take down the shield first. Now I want to finish this video with some advices that, that I can give you whenever you use Viola. Uh, stay on the rooftops because uh, it, it lets you save your face jump. So you can, like I said at the very beginning of this video, if you have the high ground, you can place the realm of annihilation very, very easily. And uh, if you do it, you miss the enemy, or you don't kill him and you want to run away, you still have your, 
the, the two phase jumps. So, but you know, if you are on the flight ground, I show you the combo. You know what to do, dash up twice, look down, place it around, teleport, kill. But I can only recommend you whenever you play, stay, always have the high ground. Always stay on top of a hill uh, and run away if you, if you have to. Don't try too much. It, you gotta be a little patient with this hero because if you waste your realm and you waste your, the, the two phase jumps, you have nothing. You have nothing left. And this, this hero relies a lot on the movement, and the movement must be combined with the win condition, so the realm. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that uh, don't fight if you are not ready to fight. <laughs> so have the high ground, if you have the high ground, place the realm. If you miss, dash twice and you're gone, you're safe. If you try too much and you don't succeed, it, it's hard. So, you know, just, just take, take your time. You can. You can, if you have the high ground, you don't have to worry because, like I said, again, realm, oh no, I missed, I didn't kill him, what do I do? You have two dashes, go away. But, if you just want to run away, face jump twice in any direction, place the realm once again very far, and you're gone. So just take your time with this hero. It's deadly as long as you have the skills and your position correctly. That's all you need to know, and that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I wanted to make like a like a 30 minutes long video where I explain everything you need to know Wherever you are I'm gonna show you how to win, but it's truly just experience You need to try this year because you know I tell you I can tell you okay uh, Do this do that But depending on who you're fighting where you're fighting it is gonna change so you gotta adapt You can just watch my videos and see how I fight that that's like once you watch this video you can go back and watch my um, the best heroes, the best hero in Rideout Heroes, or my, or the videos where I use Viola. You, you can just notice that all the things that I said, I just, I just do them, I, and I use them. So that's pretty much it. Thanks, thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know what hero you, you would you like to see a, a tutorial of next. I think I'm gonna do a Sunny because Cookie Monster is gonna help me uh, doing that since he's the best Sunny in the game. But, you know, for now, just enjoy this one, and I'll see you in the next one.